What's up everybody, Adam Mentality World here. Got a real quick video, but first, make sure you subscribe. You subscribed? You good? You good? All right, now, this video is about the beginning of Raw tonight on February 22nd, I believe. Yes, 2016. So, there was gonna have the Vince, Vincent K. McMahon came out and he got a big pop, like, yay, it's the guy, he's gonna come, he's gonna put Triple H and Stephanie in their place. And so he was coming out to give the Vincent J. McMahon Legacy of Excellence Award. You think, okay, maybe it's gonna go to John Cena, because he's done a lot of things for kids with cancer and stuff like that, make a wish. And all of a sudden, it goes out and gives it to Stephanie. And you're like, ah, oh, boo. And she starts going to her through her little spiel. Oh, thank you, blah, blah. You people really love me. And then the music hits. Here comes the money. That was awkward. All right. So now, back to reality. So Shane McMahon comes out, and he starts talking about, oh, you owe me you this, you owe me that, blah, blah, blah. And he, Vince is trying to pay him off, but no. He doesn't want money this time. He wants to run Raw. And so they're, all right, we'll have a match at WrestleMania. Vince will pick his person, Shane will pick his person. Well, right before Vince said who he was going to pick, I was like, no. Because who at WrestleMania has the best record? The Undertaker. Who do people not want to win? Vince McMahon. So now you're going to have Vince McMahon, who you're rooting against, and you have Undertaker on his side. So you got a good and a bad on the same side. And then you got Shane McMahon, he ended up being, he's going to be the one to fight Undertaker at WrestleMania 32 in a hell in a cell match. That should be pretty good. Hopefully, hopefully Undertaker doesn't get concussed. I don't think he's, Shane's going to be able to do anything to, who, to him like Brock did two years ago. But... It makes it cool because like, oh cool, there's gonna be a, a new guy in charge possibly if Shane wins. But then you got, oh no, you don't want The Undertaker to lose. But my issues are the fact that this is why they should have never let Brock beat The Undertaker. Because then you'd really care because like, this could be his last match and he could lose it. But he does, the streak doesn't exist anymore. So if Undertaker loses, it doesn't really matter. There's no ambiance and no greatness to it. I mean, you're sure you, you like The Undertaker, but there's a difference between Undertaker fighting at WrestleMania with the streak in Undertaker at any other pay-per-view. He's lost at all the other pay-per-views, basically. But WrestleMania was his pay-per-view until Bart Lesnar beat him two years ago. So now it's kind of like, oh, well, if Undertaker loses, I don't really care because now we'll get Shane. Shane will be in charge. He'll, he'll fix everything. He's not going to fix anything. He's going to be doing... It's just going to be a different guy. It's just like, like I said before, like uh, when the United States gets a new president, they really don't make a lot of differences. Okay, they make some here and there, but it's not like... You have Hitler or Stalin or Dave Thomas from Wendy's takeover, like somebody else like that. No, you've got just it's just a different different figurehead and you got the same people, same creative, same storylines, same everything, you just got a different guy on top. So I was really excited about this match at first, but then when I really started to think about it, it's not that exciting. So what? Okay, so if Shane wins, now we look at Shane instead of Vince. And Shane looks just like Vince. He's got probably more gray hair than Vince. It looks like now. Or if the Undertaker loses or wins, I don't. Then Vince is still in the top spot, and then nothing changes. And then the Undertaker, he he stays with outer streak still. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Please do all that. Getting close to 600 followers. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anyway. Best of luck to everyone. Let's enjoy this road to WrestleMania, past Fastlane. Peace.